What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually render your footage from iMovie into 4K or 1080p. Now, if you remember from the last video, when we went up here to the share button and went to file, we couldn't render this into 1080 or 4K. You can see the 4K option isn't present and the 1080p option is just grayed out. So why is that? Well, the very first clip that you add to your iMovie timeline dictates what the rest of the video can be rendered as. So if the first clip that you put here into your timeline is 720p, that is the maximum resolution that iMovie will let you render as. If it's a 4K, you can render as 4K. So what happens if you run into this problem where you know you have 4K or 1080p footage and you encounter this issue and you've already completed your timeline or at least gotten a good way through it and you don't feel like starting over, how do you fix this problem? Well, first of all, go ahead and highlight everything in your video and hit Command X, or you can right click on it and hit Cut. Now, once you've cut everything from your timeline, don't worry, so long as you don't cut or copy anything else, you're fine. What we're going to do is we're going to import a brand new video into iMovie. Now, this is the key. This is what's important. It has to be imported now. You may already have 4K or 1080p footage here in your browser, but by the act of importing a new clip, assuming that clip is a 1080p or 4K video, that resets the render footage, assuming you've got a completely clear timeline. You can, of course, verify this by going to a video that you have or picture, right-clicking on it, and hit Get Info. And under More Info, you're going to see this dimension section. So long as this first number is at or greater than 1080p, you can render at 1080p. And if it's even higher than 1080p, you can potentially render it into 4K. But you need to make sure this video or picture is 4K. So now I'm going to click the Import button, and I'm going to select the Joystick Mapper Switch Pro video here. That's the one that I verified earlier was in fact a 4K video. I'm going to import this. And now you can see it's up here in the media browser. I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to hit Command and V and that's going to paste everything I copied earlier back into my timeline. Hit that, you can see the video is now back. And now you can see if I go up here to the share button and hit file, I now have the 1080p option highlighted, but I also have the 4K option available to me. Then once you verify that that's correct, and you can render into 4K and 1080p now, you can go back to this original clip and hit delete. So you can see now, I go back again, the 1080p and 4K options are still here. I can still now render the video into 4K and 1080p. And you can keep editing your timeline or go ahead and render as you want. One of the things I like to do is, you can see here, I have an event called 4K base. And this is just some 4K video that I had from an event and I keep this just as an event here that I can use and just automatically drag into my timeline and that way I know that I'm starting out with a 4k video from the get-go. But we're going to talk about events in a later video. For now, you now know how to upgrade your video to 4k and 1080p and to actually render it in case you're having the iMovie bug. Thanks for watching. If you would like more Mac tips, tricks, and advice, feel free to subscribe to this channel. You can also check out the website at easyosx.net, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again.